protesters shut down traffic in both directions on the Golden Gate Bridge on Monday, joining protesters across the country to stop traffic for hours to draw attention to U.S. taxpayer funds being used for military aid for Israel's ongoing war with Hamas in Gaza. On the same day federal income tax returns were due. Other protests took place across the country on Monday. In the East Bay, about 15 protesters simultaneously stopped traffic in both directions on I-880 in Oakland, CBS News Bay Area reported. But the highway was reopened by 11 a.m. Pacific time. In Philadelphia, protesters gathered in Center City to demonstrate at the Internal Revenue Service building, holding banners protesting their tax dollars going to military aid for Israel while another group drove a funeral procession for victims in Gaza to slow down traffic on I-95, the Philadelphia Inquirer reported. Protesters also blocked the entranceway to Valero Energy in San Antonio for hours, local station KSAT-12 reported, while others shut down the Newburgh Beacon Bridge in New York's Hudson Valley, backing up traffic for about two hours during the morning commute, News 12 reported. Other international protests also took place, including a large protest in Melbourne that saw about 200 demonstrators block roads in the city, Australia's ABC News reported. Some commuters at O'Hare reportedly left their vehicles and walked from the highway into the terminal in order to make their flights. Travelers were forced to walk to the terminal from their vehicles, but many were showing support for the protesters while doing so said Peyton Wilson, a spokesperson for Chicago Dissenters, the organization that coordinated Monday's protest in the area. One traveler told the Associated Press she ran and speed walked over a mile with her luggage in order to make it to her flight. Israel's ongoing war with Hamas in Gaza has led to protests across the country, many opposing the Biden administration's policies and continued support for Israel. About one month after the war began, thousands of protesters took to the streets in Washington, D.C. to demand an immediate ceasefire. Other protests have led to hundreds of arrests. In October, over 300 people were arrested in the U.S. Capitol building at a protest organized by Jewish Voice for Peace and if not now, two American Jewish groups opposed to the ongoing war. Other dissenters have directly targeted the Biden administration, and showed their disapproval by organizing protest votes in various Democratic presidential primaries across the country. In Michigan, the state home to the largest Arab American population, organizers got over 100,000 voters, including a majority of voters in the city of Dearborn, to vote, uncommitted, on their primary ballots.